Hey gang! Alright, so with me I have Mag the Rescue. Her issues are, well, first of all, she's a really intense dog. She'd be perfect for military police dog use as, as a working canine. So she's really intense. We think she's mixed with Belgian Malinois and Pitbull. That is an amazing combination. So she's actually going to be screened by the canine unit on Thursday. But she has to be a balanced dog before we can teach her controlled aggression, right? So empowering a dog and intensifying and rewarding that kind of aggression when it's not in your control, it's not a good thing to do. So first, she has to be sound in mind and a very balanced dog for before we can begin that type of work with her, if she passes her screening. One issue we're having is she's starting to increase with the food dish. When I feed her, she's slowly starting to growl and it's starting to escalate and she's very smart I'm going to show you some of this on video I was having her do a sit stay waiting till I put the food bowl in the crate and then releasing her into it um, she's learned all kinds of ways to decoy around me so she can beat me in the crate <laughs> and she, she's she's really smart she's very intelligent we got to work on, on that she, most of her issues that make her not adoptable are dominant territorial aggression issues. So to resolve dominance aggression, you have to become the dominant one with the dog and then correct any kind of dominant aggression behaviors they display. But first and foremost, you always have to earn trust and respect as the dominant one, as the leader, before you try to correct any of those behaviors. So with this girl, I'm, I have not done any kind of corrections with her. I am simply going to just show you guys the behavior that she displays, the aggression. If you act the wrong way with this type of dog, you can definitely get yourself hurt. So safety first. But um, this, this is just a display. So I'll let you meet Miss Mag here. So that's Mag. You can already tell some just kind of bratty a-hole behavior. She's scratching, demanding to come in on her terms. She does not want to be patient. All this, it's, it's dominant, high energy, great working dog behavior as long as it's structured and under the handler's control. These dogs with this type of potential, when it's not channeled properly, it's very destructive for themselves and others around them. So we're gonna let our girlfriend in here. And I will show you exactly what's going on. And pay attention to, because you will notice when she's doing some scrawling and snarling and lunging, that her top lips like retreat like to where you can see a lot of gum. And usually that's a little bit more insecurity, nervous based. Just because it's insecurity and nervous does not mean you can't get hurt. These, those type of dogs will hurt you. Ah, stay. So, you want to wait until she's relaxed. You can tell she's pushing the envelope. She's not waiting for my call to invite her in. She's more so looking for an opportunity to dart past me. Ah, ah. Again, all great working dog potential. But it's only great when it's trained. Right now, it just shows me as a trainer a bunch of unutilized potential. There's potential. But it's not utilized yet. Ah. Shh. So it takes patience to create patience. It takes patience to create patience. If you're not patient, your dog's not going to be patient. So I myself have to be patient in order to wake her out Till she's fully patient. So you see, she almost jumped up on that that little bed there, just looking for an alternate route to beat me, decoy around me. Shh. Notice I'm not going stay, stay, stay. That just creates more excitement. It gets my nerves unraveled. Stay, stay, stay. You don't want to do that. Silence. Silence is power. When she comes in, I come in. Pressure. Ah. 
Notice I don't have to sit there and go sit, sit, sit. She does it automatically. All you need is just patience. That's all you have to do. I'm, what am I waiting for? I'm waiting for her to surrender and give up, not trying to sneak in anymore. Ah. And how can I tell that she's still trying to sneak in? It's that, that anxious behavior right there. You can see the wheels turning in her mind. Should I go now? Should I wait? What if I dart that way? Want the whole enchilada, that's good. Okay. I like that eye contact, that checking in. That was a, a very respectful moment. So I got the food. As you can tell, she's already going around in her crate. She knows the drill. So she goes in her crate, and I start bringing this food here. Usually she's already growling. Of course I have a camera, and she's not gonna do it. But because I know when I put this food dish in there, she's going to start growling at me. And I don't want to risk the possibility of my face being right there and her making a nervous reaction lunge at my face. So to avoid that risk from happening, sit, sit, good. Put her in sit, stay, sit. So now i got to, come on, sit. So now I've got a safe distance from here to there. Stay. But that only works if she stays. Just like at the lanai door, I use my body pressure. She tries to get up, but what she's been doing is jumping over this bed and beating me in there. Stay. Ah, ah, ah. Sit. Good. Ah, ah. Sit. I think she knows she's on camera, and she's not going to display all the aggression that I want to show you guys. Come here. Sit. Good. Stay. But have no fear. The camera will still be here for next time. Sit. Stay. She's been getting ugly lately. Ah. Sit. Good. Stay. Stay. Okay. She'll do it a little right here, though. And she's making me look like a liar. And she's totally making me look like a liar. So how it started was right there with that situation. And this door's a little tricky, so it takes me longer to close it. So it started out with a little growl. And the next time it was a little bit more of a growl. And it just escalated from that to where she was giving me those bad looks. See? Right, that right there. That pausing. And the eye glare. I think it's the power of the camera right now. Something about the camera is changing her state of mind. New training tool. Dogs have, apparently, they, they have stage fear, too. Camera sh shy. That's it. She must be camera shy. Yeah, because she's doing excellent. Something about this camera itself is changing her. You can see that little pause in there, and that's how it first started. And it escalated more and more to where she's like actually lunging when I'm trying to close this door when she has food in there. So, how to resolve that? Again, first, you got to earn her trust and respect as leader and then start correcting those nasty behaviors. Right at the get-go, you don't want to correct it when she's full-blown engaged in it and lunging. You want to correct it right at the thought. Like when right, right there is when you want to correct that right at the intention of it and that way you can correct low and knock it out without having to go to a high correction and the best tool to use for this is an e-collar that way you're not in harm's way and it's quick and it's effective and if your timing is right you can knock the behavior out really quickly with a very very low stimulus a lot of people don't understand e-collars they are fantastic training tools if you know what you're doing with them and it can save a dog's life, like Mag right here. Think anywhere is going to take her if she has extreme food aggression, any home or canine facility. They don't want a dog with that kind of resource aggression. Their, their whole motive of tools is using resources, toys, and food. 
when she gets that way with food, she's definitely going to start getting that way with toys as well. Makes her unworkable. So e-collar training, save this girl's life. All right, stay tuned, folks. I'll have to do this again because obviously she did not project that kind of nasty behavior that I wanted to show you guys, but I'm glad she, she didn't. She did great. And the only reason I have not started e-collar training with her yet is because I want her to be screened by the canine unit first before I start any kind of corrective behavior. So I don't want to risk inhibiting any true potential she has. All right, stay tuned, folks. This is Breezy at Disciple Dogs Launching Working Dog Rescue Academy. And this is Miss Mag here. Good girls. Stay tuned, folks.